Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shweta. Welcome to day 4, activity 4. So I hope you must have started it before only in the morning itself that is by counting your blessings. So today you must have added 10 more blessings to your previous list. So you have 50 blessings. And the second part of the activity deals with magical health. So I like you to do some activity right now that is keep your thumb uh, in your ear then second finger on your eyes third on your nostril fourth on your mouth and fifth on your chin by doing this actually you are closing all your five senses do it with both of your hand and give it a minute and listen to the sound inside you now the sound you are hearing might be a sound of silence or you will hear a mild sound actually uh, imagine that your uh, 11 different system or different different organs and so many different tissues and millions and millions of cells are working together uh, what kind of sound they are creating they are constantly working since your birth so uh, and the simple goal for what they are working is to keep you healthy this is the day to celebrate and say them thank you for mere thank you is just an emotion and can emotion affect our body so to explain you this I like to share a information which I have learned from Dr. Sabadra um, he has taught me to not just to treat patients but actually uh, turning the patient into a doctor by making him explain how his body works and also um, helping him or to make him learn to heal himself so deals with two books that is the emotion code and the second one is heal your life by Louis Hay so, so it's been universally accepted now that your body is made up of energy so to prove it I like you to do an activity look at your hand and when you magnify it you'll see some lines and when you further magnify it you'll see a skin surface when you will magnify it further, you will see a field of cells. When you magnify to a single cell, you will see cell bodies and nucleus. Now inside the nucleus there is a strand of DNA and when you magnify it further, uh, the DNA strand is made up of different atoms. So it has been magnified 1 million times, so you see a field of atoms. When you magnify to a single atom, that is you magnify 8 million times, you see a single atom. When you magnify and go on magnifying further, you uh, till 80 million times, you see nothing, nothing, this nothing is energy. To measure this particular black energy, they have created a machine and they, when they um, measured this energy, this was the energy of your thoughts and emotions. And it gives out a graph or a reading like this. It has a reading of your emotion. Um, Say you have this much of grief, despair, guilt or whatever you might be having. Now this machine works upon vibrations. So every person right now is liberating some vibration out of his body. Now this proves you that emotions is nothing but energy. And by the law of physics you know that energy can neither be created nor been destroyed. It can just be transferred from one person to another or one place to another. Now you will say how can this energy or em uh, energy of emotions can affect your health. They say if the emotion is strong enough it may become trapped. Like you get more than 60,000 thoughts in 24 hour span but not every emotion is a strong emotion. They call it strong emotion because look if you get scolding from your mother and scolding from your teacher what may affect you more is uh, to whom you are attached more. Look, if you are attached to your mother more, that emotion of anger or guilt may get, uh, is strong enough to be get trapped inside your body. Now, they say a trapped emotion is a ball of energy. They have given an example of shoulder here. They are saying that, for example, the energy is being trapped here. Will usually lodge in the area of body where there is pre-existing weakness. By it, they mean that uh, you have a diathesis. For example, whenever you go out for traveling, you have a headache or whenever you go out traveling, you have upset stomach. It's the pre-existing weakness of particular person of your body. So whenever there is an emotional turbulence, you it will first hamper your pre-existing weakness 
or they say symbolic relationship now here we can relate it to the theory given by dr louis hay that is uh, in the book heal your body i'll explain you it further now they say trapped emotion affect us in two ways that is um, physically the trapped emotion distort the body energy field this results in pain and malfunction now in this picture they have given example of shoulder imagine they will uh, the trapped emotion distort this energy and causes you pain and malfunction the function of shoulder is to move your hand so whenever you will move your hand you will feel pain and invisibly they say trapped emotion uh, causes may cause you depression anger etc now you will say it's just a theory but uh, look uh, we have a proof over it you will say the heart now we know that the human heart is much more than a pump so uh, during the heart transplant uh, transplant recipients often inherit it inherits the affinities and the memories of the donor it has been proved 80% of people has this thing happened with them 